So I said I was going to do a little video on the difference between using the flash to capture the exposure or using the camera's shutter speed to do so. So I use the XMS and I use the XMT to do so and this is just a screen recording of the results I've got off the back of it. So these are the images in Lightroom. So this is the first one shot at 100 ISO, 125th of a second at f5 and the setup basically was a soft box um, behind the glass and I was pouring Lucasade into it and shooting directly into um, the soft box <clears throat> on the 85mm uh, Sigma Art 1.4 and as you can see it's pretty crystal um, so there are the settings there f5 85mm 100 ISO 125th of a second using the XMS um, <clears throat> and, and its short flash duration. So this one now that you see is 100 ISO F5 using the 85 and this is, you, this is using the XMT and it was 800th of a second. So this is basically high speed sync falling in play. And if you look at it, it isn't as sharp. Now <clears throat> you could probably tweak some stuff and adjust it but just a really simple demonstration shows that you know you can freeze the action just as well using a shorter flash duration than having to switch to high speed sync to get the same results high speed sync really comes into play when you're starting to shoot outside and you've got a lot of ambient light that was obviously going to play havoc with your iso and, and shutter speed ratings sort of out <clears throat> so again this is the original image and it's crystal like it's, it's absolutely crystal I've never done any product photography and this is the first time sort of I've ever taken it I'm quite happy in terms of the the results so if I zoom out and then just compare apologies about loading speed there's quite a lot of info in the Lightroom catalog so it's a bit slow sometimes <clears throat> and again this is the 800 shutter speed so we've gone above that 250th of a second <clears throat> where high speed sync would have to kick in and and yeah it's not as crystal as as it was at 125th so you look at shutter speed 800 shutter speed 125th same f number the only difference is the flash head that's used so i use and obviously the shutter speed so the xms was 125th the xmt was 800 of a second so the whole confusion about oh i have to have high speed sync to be able to freeze action you don't because you can use the flash duration to freeze action and as long as it's short which it is with the xms you can still do that <clears throat> so yeah this is the the difference between the two images apologies about the loading time but yeah it's just a really short video to show you can obviously recreate this at home and probably do it far better than i have i've left them in lightroom just so you can see the settings, um, I've not tweaked too much in sort of terms of <clears throat> putting them back out. I just wanted to be able to show the difference between the two. And my personal preference really would have been the first one. And that is it. So difference between using high speed cell. Oh, here you go. So these are the, the full previews. This one now you see is the XMS. You can see that they're absolutely crystal. This one is using the XMT at 800. Now you could probably vary the results, but straight off the bat, without too much tweaking, using the shorter flash duration on the XMS was was better. And yeah, that is pretty much in summary. So just a short video, as I said I would do. Hope that clears it up a little bit more and shows that you can do exactly the same between the the two products. I'm not saying one is better than the other, because obviously they can both be tweaked. I just found that. Straight out of the you know straight off the bat, the XMS was better because it had a shorter flash duration than having to focus on the camera's ability to freeze action, because the camera is never going to be, <clears throat> you know, is never going to be as fast as light, as far as I'm concerned. If you've got any more questions, pop them in the comment box, and hopefully I will be able to answer them for you. Cheers.